What you have to do is wash it really good and rinse off all the impurities. Kind of like sushi rice, how you have to wash it over and over. That's what I'm doing here, I'm washing it. Okay, I want you to see. See what this looks like? See how it has things in the top there? Impurities, you gotta wash that out. All right, so, so far, we're doing pretty good so far. We have the cobbler in the oven, dessert. My husband says dessert, let's eat dessert first. He says we may not make it to, di to dessert, so let's have that first. <laughs> and then we have our rice on. Now what we'll do is we'll start our, we'll start our chicken dish, all right? What I started doing already to save us a little bit of time is I started cutting up these peppers for our dish. And I think we have enough peppers for the dish, but I'm going to show you a really cool technique that I use for cutting. Okay, so what I did, what I'm going to do here is cut this pepper. And I cut a couple already in strips. It's a couple of little quick, easy techniques I use for cutting. Cut the tops and the bottoms. You see that? And just cut the ribs out. How easy was that, right? Very good. You see that? Yes. Okay, who wants to come up and try it? <laughs> Who's Kiki? Okay, Kiki, come on up. Excellent. Okay. Let's rinse it good. Did I do that too fast? Kiki will do it for you. I'll be slower. <laughs> okay. And these I save. I put them in the freezer in a Ziploc bag. And whenever I want a little, I just have them for the future. It's perfect. But that way, I cut them and I get a perfect julienne, you know? Yeah. And you can cut it in half even so you don't. There you go. Right. Awesome. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. That was really good. That was really good. You got skills, this one right here. Let's go ahead and add our chicken. We'll add the garlic after. Now this chicken, the recipe says <clears throat> that you can season it with salt and pepper. And it also says, oh, you can season it with some of my seasoning that I have. Which you can, well, you, you don't know what my seasoning is, but it's basically a wet seasoning. I've got FDA approval on it. It is a culmination of herbs and spices. I'm only going to cook a, a little bit here because I can't cook it all. Is there a cover for that, by chance? That's right, I forgot that. That's a, a stir fry pan. Okay, so yeah, this, this, the, my seasoning has um, thyme, oregano, basil, garlic, um, salt, peppercorns. Yes. Um, that's soon to be coming online. But if you have an interest, just let me know, and I can I can sell you a bottle. Same with my hot sauce. That's going to be coming out as well too. Oh, you found one. That's perfect. Thank you. I should have asked you that earlier. Okay. So now, what am I tempted to do? I'm tempted to open this up, right? Don't, don't do it, because <laughs> it'll dry out. Your it'll dry out, and the rice won't cook like it's supposed to. But that's what's so cool about this glass thing right here. You can see. It's bubbling, it's working. Okay, while our chicken cooks, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some garlic. And my dad loved to cook, loved to cook. The old story is that um, I was so close to the stove, my pigtails burned. <laughs> I had pigtails, can you see me with pigtails? Yeah. What was your favorite dish growing up? What do you oh my gosh, I have fond memories. I have a lot of, and I call them comfort foods, that's what they are for me growing up, you know, macaroni and cheese, and. Caribbean chicken, and my mother made this thing called Kalaloo. Some of you may know it, but we have different names in the Caribbean for the same thing that you eat, you know. So it's basically spinach and okra with pumpkin and onion and a little, uh, and a, a scotch bonnet pepper. The whole thing was thrown into the pot. I told you, at this age, I was eating scotch bonnet peppers. <laughs> I had to like it whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> that was on the menu. All right, so, 
And then Saturday's menu was, was incredible too because, well, Saturday was soup. Mom made soup all day. That's what, you know, that's what we, and we ate all day. My sister, the story is she would cook, you know, she'd make this pot of soup and we ate the whole pot the whole day. I mean, a big, I'm talking big pot, big pot. It was just my sister and I. And then on Sunday, we did, she did the chicken and the sweet plantains and the, you know, yuca and cassava and all that stuff, macaron. She was up at like eight, I don't know, shopping early, buying. By the time I came back from church, food was done. And then I got to eat all day, which is what I did. I ate all day. So mom doesn't understand how I'm slim. It's the pepper, I'm telling you. It's the pepper. This is one of the products that they sell. It's called Thai Kitchen. I don't know if you can see it in here. Can you see it? And actually, I could even pass this little guy around if you want. Yeah. Because I brought an extra one so you can take a look at it. And I like the... When I make my Thai shrimp or curry chicken or whatever, I always add a little Thai and the Indian. It's a really, really nice balance. Somehow it's a little sweeter to me, and it's got a nice distinct flavor of Thai, which is really good. And um, at the end, when we finish, when I finish our cooking process, we're going to add some cilantro and coulantro. So those are our herbs we're going to add right at the end. And I add coconut milk as well, and that gives a nice balance to the heat. For those of you who are not really, who are not really feeling the heat, <laughs> you're going to like that coconut milk when I add it in because then you have a little sweet added to it. In the recipe I wrote uh, that you can add brown sugar if you want to. I mean, it's in my recipe. I did not use it today because I want you to be able to see the difference. I'm going to add this. Okay, you see what I'm doing? I'm just swishing it around in here. Just swishing it around. And I'm not making it very hot. How's that smelling? You smell that? <laughs> it's really lovely. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm. It's nice. Okay, now I'm going to add my peppers as well. Mm. And I use these peppers because, you know, like I said, the vitamin C in them. I didn't know that peppers had vitamin C in them. I always thought vitamin C came from citrus things only until I read it, and I thought, oh, yeah, this is actually a healthy dish. I'm just going to toss it a little bit. This pan is working out really nice. Okay. I'm going to check on our, on our cobbler in a few minutes here. Okay, I think that's good, right? Let that sit for a little bit, and then I'm going to add my coconut in a few minutes. But in the meantime, let's cut some of this cilantro. What I did was I just rinsed it under water and I just wrapped it in, you know, paper towel. And that's how you can keep your herbs fresh for.